cat, and he was talking about how he had integrity. He was comparing a lot of other dudes and how they were doing things, Kevin Hart specifically, mm -hmm. uh, how Kevin Hart was willing to go out here and do stuff to put himself in a position outside of that. And it, it made me get into that whole thought process of, you know, your integrity versus actually doing what you got to do to be successful. Yeah. Then someone sent me a clip because, of course, it now brings back the old Monique conversation, especially coming off of Taraji P and what she was saying. People are going back into the old Monique thing. And I saw a clip of Monique and Steve Harvey going back. Uh, yeah. And she's like, y'all didn't stand up for me out in public. In the background, behind the scenes, y'all quietly told me I didn't do nothing wrong. And Steve is like, Monique, we in the money game. We not into, it's nothing else. This is the money game. Money game. And what do we do? How do we, the best thing we can do for poor people is not be poor is what Steve said. Steve said, what I need to do is I can't put my integrity before my family who needs me. Mm. That puts me yeah, in that I've whole conversation yeah. of integrity versus, you know, doing what you got to do to be successful. And, now, it, and it is, just, it, go ahead. I was going to say, and it is a fine line, man. Something, and I'm saying that if you want to stand on your integrity 1000%, by all means, be 10 toes down. But sometimes in order to just, to, you know, like your, your integrity might get you to a point to where like, I want to speak out against something or like going against your integrity. Like, let me just be quiet just to get through the moment. And then I'll attack it on the back end, you know, in, in, in that idea of, you know what I'm saying? Dialing back your integrity, not saying like, just kind of just giving up and giving out, like giving it all away, but maybe holding it back. And it's a fine line between do I do what I got to do just to get by? Well, <clears throat> for me personally, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I listened to what Steve said, and I listened to what Monique said. And logically, I understood what Steve said, but I didn't feel it. Yeah. I didn't feel Same it. Here. In my Same core, here. I didn't feel it at all. Because on a lesser level, I participate in, this, in that industry that they participate mm -hmm. in. And I have far less money than what they have. And mm -hmm. I still have to have my integrity intact where yeah. I really could use a, one of them $3,000 checks. Yeah, you've told me I about that before. On. Yeah, you've told me about that before. You say, hey, I, I had an offer for this and that. But I just couldn't, I couldn't do that role. I, could, I couldn't do that, could that, do that, that speaking engagement or whatever or, or um, voicing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've stood on my integrity where relative to what I have and what I need, mm -hmm. I, I needed the job more than I didn't need the job. But yeah. my integrity, I put it ahead of that because I don't, I don't, I don't stand for that message. So I'm not going to go put that message out there. So for me, I hear that. And I say, if you ain't, if you ain't willing to stand on your integrity, I can't trust nothing you ever say. True. How do I know when it's the truth and when it's not the truth now? Yeah. Well, so when do me, I know that you're, you're 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 selling your integrity short? When do like like if 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 there was a way for us to see everybody's barometer or their gauge on their integrity, how much they're giving away or when, that'd be different. But we, we, we don't live in that, we don't live in that 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 reality. That that reality yeah. is not <clears throat> here. So right. if you're willing to sell your integrity or go against your integrity on any small thing or any big thing, any, at any, on any level, when do yeah. I know what your level is? Because like for some people, what you might've said, no, I can't do this because of my integrity. Some people might put a dollar sign on that and say, well, you know what? If this was 10,000, maybe I would do that versus yeah. 3,000. Or if this was a hundred thousand, maybe I would do that for a hundred thousand, but I wouldn't do that for a hundred thousand. I'll do that for a million, but I wouldn't <clears> do that for a hundred thousand. So our gauge on what our integrity level is and saying we, we don't know when somebody's integrity is going to kick in because we've seen people do um, worse for less. Yeah, Some people yeah. sell their integrity for a hundred dollars. Exactly. <laughs> you know so I just say everybody's got a line and I don't want to sit here and act like Mr. <laughs> Mr. Honorable, like, cause I'm sure I got a line too, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying relative to where I am in life versus where Steve is in life. Yeah. 
he's in a position where you made enough millions. I don't know what you did with your money, but you yeah. made enough throughout the course of your career where you should be able to stand on your integrity at a you point. Yeah, at this point, yeah. Maybe, yes. and then also say say you did stand on your integrity before, have a change of heart, and now you're, and you go and um, lobby against it. So your advice to somebody else shouldn't be, hey, go against your integrity. It should be, hey, do what you got to do. I got your back because yeah. I got the resources and, I, and I'm put in the position to where me and my circle and those around me, you ain't got to do that no more. We don't, we don't have to. Like you say, like the worst thing you can do for poor people is, is to be poor and be one of them. OK, well, you're not that anymore. You've gone right. past that now. So now your message should be different. It's like, hey, look, I've made it out. I might have done what I had to do. So you don't have to. And you yeah. don't have to. Now we can start ownership. Now we can go and do it our way. Thanks. Look, get this, man. Get this right. So for Steve's instance, C say, I got a family and I got to take care of my family. It's like, brother, you do realize when you say that, you basically giving the middle finger to my family and everybody that's coming after you mm -hmm. that needed you to stand on something to make life better for the next person after. But yeah. instead, you protected yours and you didn't make life better for those that's coming after you, which was Monique's point. Like, if I take this amount of money, then the actress and the lady that comes after me, she's going to have to take less because I'm here and she's here. So I'm yeah. setting a standard. You're, 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 you're everybody pushing, after me up. Down. Yeah, true. You're pushing it down. So she stood on some morals that may not have benefited her family, but it benefited every black woman to come after her. That's yeah. integrity. But for you to be like, my family, my family needs me as a multimillionaire or... And, and, <laughs> You're not saying that from the gutter. You're, you're, you're not speaking you're not that message from, from the, the gutter. gutter. You're not speaking it from the gutter. Look, from the gutter, I talked to you about this one too. I just named a random number when I said three thousand dollars, but mm -hmm. I've had a situation where I've been sent from my agent uh, an audition for a six-figure job that I didn't respond to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and because I didn't believe in what it was, as far as this is going to mess the whole industry up. It was an AI yeah. job that you selling your mm. whole likeness. You know what I mean? Like, and mm. I, and I, I, I did, I was like, nah, it, I'll make, you know, a hundred some grand off of it. Some odd number, maybe 130 grand off of it. But this, this is forever messes up the industry for all of us afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all take yeah, this yeah, job. Yeah. But like, if, if, all, if everybody gives into that, then guess what? I don't need you anymore because I have your likeness. So now destroying the industry. you took that deal. Now I don't need I don't need anybody because you took that one time deal. Yeah, you know it's like those people who get paid that one time, like like say like a Jason Weaver. I know I don't know if you heard the interview with he talked about what his mom didn't say. Nah, they were offered a million dollars for the, for, for the Lion King joint, but like no, 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 we're gonna turn down the money because guess what? If I take that, I'm not going to see anything else after that. Yeah, now I can continue to eat because I want this other deal. So by you doing that, it's like saying, hey, look. Now, us as a group, we need to make sure that it, us in this industry, that we can continue to get paid and get work and continue to grow this industry individually for ourselves than yeah. just to sell everything and sell our likeness. And then guess what? Now that messes up the whole industry for everybody. If we all start going, hey, this guy went with it. This guy went with it. So now that's the expectation. Right. So now right. you're throwing everybody into the expectation of this is what you need to do to get by. You want this check? You better, you better give up your likeness. That's it. Yeah. No other deal. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's a bunch of people from the agency that took it, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't even send nothing off for it. I didn't try for it because I'm like, that's bad. Can't do that's that. bad for everything. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Could a hundred and thirty some thousand dollars change my family's life? Absolutely. In a lump sum. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but I, I just my big picture. It looked like a bad idea. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. So it's maybe it was a bad idea not to take it, but I didn't take it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. my point. So for but Steve, the, but the thing is, like, and, that, and, I think like and I think that's what not, happened with. Say what again? Go ahead. I was just saying for Steve to say that that's selfish. Like it's selfish. Yeah. It's this is you're thinking about yeah. the, your circle this big and not everybody like. Yeah. And I, and I heard um, Kevin Hart speak on something with, about Cat Williams and like it was it, it was along the times of them having their beef. And I think it was at its like at its peak or whatever. And 
Kevin was dissing um Cat because hey, well you feel this way because you were on top and you had the game. And it was yours for the taking, but you turned down this and you turned down that and you turned down this. But, and then now people look at him crazy. Well, cause now you're saying this because Kevin's on top, you're on the bottom or not necessarily on the bottom, yeah. but you're not doing what Kevin's doing because but he's still on his integrity. So now when he was saying in the interview that he's rich because of what he did for himself more so, and it's not necessarily yeah. about the dollar amount or the work that you take or don't take. It's about what you have up there and, 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 and in your heart. And that's what he decided to do. That's where he decided to put his his um his his his, his riches, his his value and his riches in that yeah. integrity. <clears throat> so a lot of people look at him like he was crazy when he was saying a lot of things he was saying back in the day without actually taking the time to listen to what he was saying. And now finally everybody's listening, uh taking the time to listen to what he was saying. Now, right. be it 100 percent right or not, you know, see, I'm pretty sure there's some 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 pieces where he got the information wrong or he's just speaking emotionally yeah. on, on some things, but macro on the macro level. Hey, he stood on what was right for him. 